be at the racetrack in nine and a half hours. Start loading in and sitting up and get ready to race Atlanta. This is a trucker's logbook. It all looks perfectly safe to me. That is required by the Department of Transportation in order to keep the highways of America safe and sound from abuse of truckers who might drive too long and therefore fall asleep at the wheel. Here you will see that Michael Godin is filling out the logbook on what we do. I, as the driver, will go on duty driving. Michael Godin will be on duty not driving. Together we will navigate the Factory Aprilia KWS Millennium Motorsports Transporter to Road Atlanta. Setting up in the rain, Road Atlanta. Uh, first time for this canopy. I think we're kind of finding where we fit with the bike. Instead of trying to fight it, we're kind of working with it. Um, the riders are getting better. They're getting more comfortable on the bike. Uh, today we, we qualified initially in P10, and uh, slowly but surely a lot of those people worked themselves backwards, and we ended up with uh, P4 and uh, Super Pole, which is extremely good. It's our best yet. Really happy for Chaz today. I thought uh, you know, it was our first time being in Super Bowl and I uh, thought that went better than expected. So uh, kind of a nice bonus for everybody, but uh, I realized there's a race right around the corner and uh, unless we capitalize on that in the race, then uh, ultimately it's for naught. So. It's funny that you know, we're talking about close racing all the time with these things from where uh, Ben is right now and he's, he's qualified 17th. He's only nine tenths back of where we qualified P4. So the racing's actually pretty tight. It's, it takes a lot to, to close it up. Um, I know Ben's capable. We've just got to give him the right equipment, the right suspension. I think he'll be right there as well. So I'm, I'm really happy with what we're doing right now. The bike's coming around. Or I should say, we're coming around. We made some positive changes to the bike and just actually got to stay out there the whole session and ride, which is what we've been lacking all year so far. So just stay out there, and I think we got 15 laps in, in that session, and so that was... It was good just to get out there and get in the rhythm finally and just be able to pick some things out on the bike that weren't working so great and make some changes, fix that. And so I think we got a pretty good setup so far. What was one of the things you fixed and changed? Just um, front fork settings basically there and just um, getting a little bit of weight off those, making them a little bit stiffer for us just so it'll hold up and I can charge in a little bit harder there and then just a couple little gearing changes and yeah, just a little bit of this and that that makes all the big differences really. Ben has so far qualified better than the previous two rounds and uh, we're progressing a lot with him. We've made a lot of small changes for tomorrow morning. And I think we're going to be we're going to see a pretty good improvement. Um, Ben's only six tenths off uh, from what Chaz did to get into Super Bowl, and still with less than a second from where he is and all the other fast guys uh, from Super Bowl time. So we're not that far off. We just got a couple little things to get around. It's really really tight. There's a lot of people covered under one second. There, there it's a very tight field. This is one instance where the spec fuel and spec tire really actually did what the GMG wanted, which was to make a very close field, which is much easier to do with the small, the small 600s than it is the big bikes. 
Uh, I wouldn't say we're right there yet. There's a few things that I left out there today, um, but there's also a couple of things that I want to work on with the bike. We've been working very hard at it, um, and it's just been, as you can see, like by results and stuff, that it's been gradually improving, getting better and better. Um, but yeah, we've just got a little bit left to do, um, which we're going to have a go at it in the morning. We've got a few things to throw at it, and we'll see how we do. You guys still have stuff in the bag you're going to try tomorrow. You got any ideas? You can tell us a little bit where you're going. Well, it's um, we've been struggling with rear grip, so it's a kind of thing where nothing is like really bad at this point. Obviously, by how he was going, but at the same time, it's not a strong suit that you really you know embrace this part of the motorcycle and say, oh, I you know, uh, Chaz would say, I love it doing this or I love it doing that. It's not quite there. At the same time, it makes it a really difficult problem for me because he's not really committed emotionally to it to one extreme or the other. So, you know, I just totally rely on his feedback and his direction. And right now, he wants it to be better. But at the same time, he cautions me that it's not entirely bad. So we certainly don't want to take a step backward. Um, so here I am late in the day on Friday trying to uh, come up with some more ideas. Good luck. Thanks, I appreciate it. a little bit confusing because it was uh, I thought you're supposed to main constant pace to the line but everybody was hard on and tucked in the tank by the time we got to the line so I lost a little bit of a gap there which I bridged um, looked like Zemke and De Salvo had a good pace to start off with and there was me Yeslick and hacking and whoever was behind me who I didn't see um, but yeah I was happy with it we got to kind of the just before the first pace car came out and um, I was in a decent position, I was feeling fairly comfortable, but uh, the rear was just starting to get a little bit slimy at that point. I was happy with, with everything today. We made I crashed this morning, so we reverted back to settings from yesterday. And um, I think that what we had wasn't too bad, but hopefully we can improve it for tomorrow. I think overall we were half a second off the fastest lap of the race, but we were right there with them. So every, consistently we were right on the pace today. Um, it's just a couple of places like the 600s can gap me going through that flicky stuff down the hill. They can just get two tenths on me in the transition from right to left going where it drops down to the left and then where it drops down to the right it's another two tenths where they can just kind of guide it down the hill and I'm trying to wrestle it but even so we come into our own on top end at the back there it's pretty fast top speed uh, unfortunately we only use it once a lap <laughs> so. it was a dramatic difference from the bike i rode this morning till in the race and we're basically going back to the thing that we had this morning and it should be a lot better for sure and that's it'd be a lot better race package we're making progress there we went backwards a little bit on a couple things but now we know which direction to go so it was a frustrating race i was just stuck behind everybody there basically and bad starting position got caught up in a group where I shouldn't have been and it couldn't do anything really is the problem with some changes we made just I couldn't get past anyone. It 
was good for a while. We were right in the thick of it. And uh, unfortunately, I managed to find a neutral down through the S's. Uh, and I also, about three or four laps later, I found a neutral going into the uh, turn 10A, into that area there. And cost me five seconds on each lap. I, so I've just been told. Um, but I knew it cost me a lot of time. And something we changed something this morning to make the clutch a little bit freer so it wasn't coming around on me upon corner entry and it definitely helped uh, and now I think as everything has got hot everything has weakened a little bit and it changed the characteristics of the clutch and it caught me out it's like it wasn't engaging properly um, and disappointed a little bit because that's a that's a missed opportunity for a podium there yeah on all the other laps apparently you were running podium pace yeah, like my last lap, 30.4, I think is the fastest guy in the last laps. I um, just, once I learned to deal with a clutch and how to kind of come, ar come around that problem, um, I got back into my rhythm, but my rhythm was broken for a few laps there where I tried to figure out what was going on. Um, so I'm happy, I'm happy with, because we made a huge step this weekend with a, a number of things and I think it can only get better. But at the same time, I just feel like that's a missed opportunity. But. Oh, uh, i got to say thanks to Rocky and Jimmy and Chip and everybody at KWS and uh, Prillia and uh, all my sponsors, Monster Energy, Shoei and Alpine Stars. Well, congratulations on progress and it will pay off. Hopefully, yeah, I'm looking forward. To the next races are going to be very interesting. They're, they're tighter tracks, so um, you might not see quite the, the advantage like, you know, like the Buell has had on these, some of these long tracks where they can stretch the legs so it's going to be interesting we've got some work to do now we've got a nice break it's been very frantic and they, they know a direction to go with like my feedback and ben's feedback so it's uh we're in for an exciting rest of the year hopefully just making progress there we started a ways back got in front of everyone i needed to and was trying to run down those lead packs there and i was making progress closed down the gap on barney to half the distance it was running up on him for like eighth and then um, the bike was having just a couple of transmission problems. I ended up getting smashed into in the last turn, knocked off the track there, and then had to ride down the grass to like the start finish. I got passed by three guys by then, then just tried to put my head down again, but did what I could to bring it home. <laughs> well, 11th isn't all bad. Yeah, so baby steps. We're getting there. Next race, it'll be a top 10, and then before we get out of Barber, it'll be a top 5. I really think so. We've got some stuff figured out now and making progress every time we go out. So um, the bike's working pretty well, just a little bit here and a little bit there, and we'll be right there with everybody.